Marriage is the safest relationship on earth because of the laws of love that God created to guide and guard and govern that relationship. And he created those in Genesis 2.24. Let me talk about the first law of love. Genesis 2.24 says, For this cause a man will leave his father and mother. Now God said that right after he had created Eve for Adam, but he didn't say it just for Adam and Eve. And the reason we know that is because they didn't have mothers. Adam and Eve were both, both directly created by God. And so when God had created Eve for Adam, he said, for this cause, for the cause of marriage, this relationship here, a man is going to have to leave, and that word there is let go, azab, let go of your mother and father and reprioritize your life so that your marriage can be first. The first law of love is the law of priority. You fall in love with the person that you marry because they choose you first, okay? You never fall in love with someone who chooses you third or fourth. In other words, my job comes first, my friends come second, you know, and you know, soccer comes third and then you're fourth. You never fall in love with a person who deprioritizes you and makes you feel meaningless. You fall in love because someone chose you and they said, I make you more important than my, even my blood kin. I make you more important than family, friends, anything else. You are bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. That's what Adam said when he saw Eve. And so the law of priority means this, marriage has to be first. Not first when you fall in love, first for the rest of your lives. The laws of love create love. You fall in love because you're following the law that God created to preserve and maintain the marriage relationship. And so in marriage, the most important thing that you do is make your spouse first and keep them there, protect them from anything that would intrude upon your marriage relationship. I hope this is helpful to you. If you wanna learn more, you can learn it from my new book, The Four Laws of Love. God bless you.